Hello and welcome to this video on the new image function in Excel. Now, as its name implies, this function enables us to return an image to a cell using a formula. Now, the image function accepts five arguments, but only the first one is mandatory. The other arguments enable us to specify alternative text and to specify the size of the image. This function can handle numerous image types from JPEG, PNG, bitmap and more. The source, however, must be a URL using the HTTPS protocol. Let's see some examples of it in action. So I have some images stored on the Computer Gaga site. You can see the URLs in the first column there of this table, which is called reps. And I want to return the image from that URL into this image column. So using the image function, here it prompts us for those five arguments. And there are two main ways of specifying the source. One way is that we could enter it as a string. So I'm just pasting from my clipboard here the URL that you can see in that first column for the Velma image. And if I was just to close bracket and run this, this would work perfectly fine as only that first argument is necessary. And you can see it's returned it for the entire table there as the tables do by kind of auto completing down the rows, which doesn't really make sense in this example, but it demonstrates the function working of that single piece of information and that it can be entered as a string. In this example right now though, a far more effective way of doing this would be that instead of referring to that text string, I could refer to the cell in this URL column of the table because then when this copies the formula down, it will move to the next row. I'm also going to put in a comma so I can refer to the alternative text, which I'm going to use this name column for. Once again, that could be entered as a string and you can type whatever you want to type. But for now, that would work quite nicely. And I'm going to ignore the arguments for the sizing. We're going to see them in the second example being used. For now, I'm keeping with the default, which I will just show by putting the comma, the default option in the sizing is to fit the image to the cell, maintaining the aspect ratio. And you can see that with the Velma image right now. And if I backspace and run this function as it is here, you can now see it with all of the other images. Wonderful way, I've returned a list of all of our sales staff with one simple formula, and this is an integral part of that table. So we can do typical Excel tasks now, such as sort this list by name. I could come to data, sort ascending, and the images will go with it. I could even turn on the filter and maybe filter it for, what am I gonna filter for? Maybe some kind of sales value, I could say, show me the uh, uh, the top five, and it works with the filter. How awesome is this? In this second example, I have a drop down list in cell C3 of all the names of the cell staff. And when I choose somebody such as Taz, I want their image to be shown in that cell with the border. So let's click in that cell and we'll write the image function in the formula bar. Now for this image function, for the URL, for the source, I'm going to use the xlookup function to look up the URL for the name mentioned in cell C3. So xlookup, the lookup value is C3, comma, the lookup array is reps table name column, comma, and the return array is reps table URL. 
So I want to return that URL dynamically from a cell value. This is just an example of using the image function with other functions in a formula. Now back to image here for putting a comma, alternative text. Yes, that will be the value in C3, comma. And this time I'm going to use a custom size. So the other options here, you know, the default is zero to fit it to the cell maintaining aspect ratio. The second example would fill it to the cell ignoring the aspect ratio. The next one is the original size and it may exceed the boundary of the cell. And last of all is custom size. Now I'm going to choose option three here for the custom size and I'm going to specify 150 for both. All of these images have the, uh, the same aspect ratio here so I can be specific like this and if I press enter, that returns Taz. And if I use the drop down to choose somebody like Snoopy, in Snoopy comes. And if I choose, who should I choose? Maybe Bart Simpson, then in comes Bart Simpson. So returning an image to a cell based on a cell value. Now to see a final example, where we're going to see the image being returned as part of multiple columns here. That's the purpose for this final demo. And I'm going to return a top five list, but using a formula rather than the auto filter, which I did a few minutes ago. So there's many ways of doing this. And I show a few examples in my advanced Excel formulas book of how to calculate rankings and top N and bottom N tables. But for this example, in cell C3, I'm going to use the sort function. And I'm going to ask sort to sort the reps table by column four in a descending order. So if I run that on its own at the moment, it's going to sort all of these. It looks pretty ugly as I've got the URL, I've got the name, I've got the image. So that shows that working. Although because of the different size cells, I've got different size images as they're being fit to that cell. And I've also got the unformatted value there. But coming back to that formula, let's expand on that by using the choose coals function to specify which columns we want. So I'm going to use choose coals here uh, on that sort function to say, can I have column three first? Yeah, that's the image, followed by column two, which is the name of the sales member, followed by column four, which is the sales value. If I close that off, now I've still got the whole table, but I've rearranged the column order and managed to exclude the column with the URL in. And to add one more to that, I'm now going to wrap the take function around that, which is another function that came out in 2022. So that's pretty cool, another very new function. And I'm going to use this to simply say, can you just take the first five rows only? And now I have the top five. You know, sorting the list using choose columns to specify which columns to have and then take for the top five. But the real purpose of that demo is to see the images being returned as part of this multi-row, multi-column spill range. And there are many examples of how this image function can be really useful in our reports and any other task that you're accomplishing with Excel that involves images. So what do you think? Do you have a need for the image function? Let me know in the comments. I hope you found this video useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't done so already, subscribe to this channel so that you will receive the latest videos. Take care and I'll see you all again soon.